make those reduced fees versus some of your customers. Fee of fees at 480p. Work is not available in some areas. See store for details and terms and conditions. <laughs> Real life street stars, man. We in here with Reggie from the Muscle Squad. What's good, man? What's happening, man? What's happening? Man, before we touch on anything, man, I've been knowing you for a little bit now. You know what I'm saying? I know you stay as everybody can see the man's in shape. You know what I mean? He does his thing. Um, first and foremost, let's let's talk about the Muscle Squad, the brand. Um, your brand. How did you come up with that brand and what is it? Uh you know, the, the way I came up with it, being a a buddy of mine, we used to work out together. We kind of just like, man, we should have a, a a fitness crew, you know what I mean? So we kind of thought about it a little bit, and uh, it started off, man, because I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, so it started off uh, Tulsa Muscle, you know, uh, me and a few of my guys. Tulsa Muscle, it was, you know, it was doing its thing. Everybody liked it, take it to it. You know, we work out at parks, uh, different gyms, and then you know, it's just kind of like, man, I had a, I had a vision, like, man, I wanna uh, I wanna go global, you know what I mean? As far as I, I feel like Tulsa wasn't going to cut it because a lot of people don't know what Tulsa is, you know. Like the hidden gym. Right, right. So I talked to some of my fellas and like, man, we need to uh, we need to figure out another name. So kind of pondered on it, you know what I mean? I reached out to a few of my other partners out of state from New York. We came up with the Muscle Squad, man. So That's what's up, man. So how long have you uh, been in business uh, doing your thing with fitness? Uh, I would say on a... On a uh, like corporate level, far as professional, I would say three years. But I've been in fitness for a while. But far as you know, doing it the right way, taking the right steps, and actually having a company and building a brand, you know what right. I mean? So right, right. So what what would you say is the goal of uh the the Muscle Squad? Like if I was a a person trying to get into shape, mm -hmm. right? And I want and I seen your your brand online, you know, I'm like, oh, this looks good. Um, what would you do as consultation wise? Like what would we what would we talk about? You know, things like that. Uh, the main thing could be like, what, what is your, uh, what's your goal? You know what I mean? What are you trying to reach? What would you like to start? Cause I look at everybody as a different, uh, a different opportunity for a different project. You know, everybody had different goals if they want to be lean or buffed up. You know what I mean? What is the most thing, what is the most, uh, request that you get? Everybody trying to get swole or is it about fitness? Yeah, I, I think it's pretty much more people want to put on muscle, man. Fresh out of breakup, trying to get swole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to shine on their ex now. Yeah, yeah. Um, in in your in your opinion, man, there's a lot of diets that go around. Like you hear all these new diets, the keto diet, the you know the low mm -hmm. carb diet. Um, are these diets healthy in your opinion? Uh, the keto, I, I I've looked into it, you know, because I've I've thought about putting some of my clients through just to kind of see. I, I mean, it's kind of like I said, it's kind of one of those deals of what a person to what's they uh goal they want you know not, a keto i think it'd be good for a person trying to drop a lot of weight yeah absolutely i think it'd be good for them. but if you're trying to put on some uh muscle i don't i don't think that'd be the route to go my opinion right right so let's say just a normal person you know um trying to stay active and healthy how many times a day should they hit the gym uh uh i would say one day i mean one time would be good starting off. Do you know start getting one your time feet? a week? Right. Okay. No, no, no. Far as you saying out of the week, yeah, I just out the week, out the week. Oh, out the week, I would definitely say uh three, three, three out of four. You know. Yeah. 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 And so, what are some of the ways? Um, like, what are some of the exercises um uh, a newcomer can do to kind of get in that mode to get ready? Like, what are some of the basic things they can do? Uh, man, I'm I'm, I'm real big on uh on form. You know what I mean? So, if you're new coming in, uh. You know, make sure your form is on point. Don't worry about the weight, trying to, you know, uh, do a lot of heavy weight. I think a lot of people get the wrong idea, like, well, I want to do something heavy because I look crazy lifting this little weight. But what you have to do is understand that we all start from somewhere. So make sure your form is right and you're doing the correct movement the right way. You're not swinging and just kind of looking sloppy. I like to make everything look smooth, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, man. I mean, you booming on you booming on the gram right now. You got about ten thousand plus followers. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing you in all these, um, you know, magazines and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, how did you get to the point where you start getting recognized and starting to get on uh, magazine covers and things like that? Oh, uh, one most notably, weight to wear. Yeah, yeah, weight to wear. Yeah. Uh, man, I think it's honestly, I think it's the grind. You know, what I mean, uh, it's it's been a grind as far as just staying at it. You know, what I mean, 
not only just my body, you know what I mean, as far as we just, you know, dealing with the kids as well, uh, reaching out, going to different states with other fitness guys, just staying in the mix, you know what I mean, with the right people, uh, traveling, you know what I mean, continue to get yourself out there and just continue to work. I think that's kind of where now a lot of things is paying off for the uh, for the brand, the Muscle Squad, you know, so. And uh, you're in Dallas right now. Uh, what, what made you touch down in Dallas? You do a lot of work out here? Uh, I don't, man. We, we're trying to work on some things down here in Dallas. I've been, like I said, reaching out to some people. Uh, definitely uh, supposed to hook up with uh, Hulk. Uh, you know, I'm trying to bring my guys down here from up uh, New York. You know what I mean? If you kind of notice the Avenger movement we have, uh, you know, Big Drew. Shout out to Big Drew from Five Percenters. Uh, he's out of Miami. Uh, Mark, whole Jim Game family, Red, uh, they out of New York. So we kind of collabing together. So we plan to do something big here in Dallas, you know. But I actually came down here to finish up my back tattoo. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, I wanted, yeah. You got to get tatted up. Now, um, you, you also mentioned uh, that the Muscle Squad is an army. It ain't just you. Right, right. Um, who are all some of the people that's in, in, in your group? Oh, uh, man, uh, we got uh, KD, KD Muscle. Uh, he's, a, he's a good athlete. He compete, you know what I mean? He's been down with the movement of... Uh, my boy G, George Lopez. Uh, also, shout out to G. He just opened his uh his gym. Y'all been to us, Oklahoma. Definitely check him out, hard body. We uh, you know, we throwing around some R in there. So uh, my boy Bio, you know, he's out in Atlanta. He's doing his thing as far as modeling, uh, doing a lot of good things. Uh, my boy Chopper, the city Chopper, new member. You know, I mean, we just brought Chopper on. So Chopper in Oklahoma City. Uh, I got some other guys I got up under the radar that I'm dealing with. You know, kind of seeing how they gonna really turn out. So, yeah, we 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 got some guys, man. It just, it's just not me. And my thing is, I like to look at our brands unique. You know, you got me. I'm kind of more thicker, wider. You know, right. you got my boy G. He tall, but he he's built. You know, Katie, he in between. Right. You know, Bio got his own little structure look. So Chop, he kind of in between. So it's kind of like different. You get you get a whole different variety. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. Now I heard a I heard a female. Tell me, like a personal trainer is like the equivalent for a male to a stripper. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. I mean, not, not saying that y'all are strippers, but yeah. that's how women look at the uh, the personal trainers. Almost like you know, right? You know how we look at strip, how a male look at strippers, females look at the personal trainers like that. Yeah. I so mean. is it is it um is it tough when you're you know when you're dealing with so many women? I'm, I'm sure training them, you know. And just trying to keep that 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 balance. <laughs> uh, you know, honestly, man, it's funny because I got a, I get a lot of that, man, and I stand strongly on that. Uh, it's just about being professional, man. You know what I'm right. saying? Once you, once you understand this is business, and you like that's you don't you don't cross that, man. That's real. I stand on that real strongly. So it's like, if you're a professional doing business, anything else, if you if you work at a car lot, come on, man, you are gonna make sure you you, you get your percentage doing what you're supposed to, you know, because that's how you take her home. So it's kind of right. like you. You got to know how to draw that line. Right. Yeah, so. But I, I'm sure some people get caught up in it, though. Oh, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. So, um, you know, we are a music platform. So I do want to ask your, uh, your taste on music um, as far as the Dallas-Fort Worth scene. Is there anybody that's buzzing out there in Oklahoma uh, that you hear a lot from Dallas? Ah, uh, uh, man, we, 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 we loaded out there, Oklahoma. We got a lot of talent out there, man. Uh, man, it's, it's a lot of them fellas. Uh, Dre the Stacker. Uh, yeah, he he buzzing. He doing his thing. Uh, uh, Trap the general, you know. Uh, he he's another good one. There's so many of them out there, man. Uh, I'm trying to. Yeah, it's a lot of them fellas out there, man. I kind of I'm, I'm I'm I listen, but kind of still stay in the fitness line, you know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, it's a few. Uh, my boy Six Thirty, uh, he's another good one, you know. Uh, a, a young artist that I'm definitely digging, though. Uh, a little fella, I think he's do, doing a deal with Mozzie. Uh. Oh, my, uh, that's what's, uh, what's his name? He's a, uh, I can't think of this little fella's name, man. But uh, he nice though, man. I'm digging his, I'm digging his style. He brings something different to the table. It ain't just right rap and all that. He kind of sing, and you know, yeah, it's yeah. different, different move. So who, who, who is in your headphones when you working out, or do you work out with music? Yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, it just kind of depends, man. Like, uh, if I'm just on some all around, just like, man, I'm, I'm. I'm on one today, like like I'm chasing 500 pounds on the bench press again. So it's like, it get crazy, you know what I mean? Everything, my numbers are going up, so I, I like to listen to something I can really just vibe out to. Maybe I done been through, I can relate to, you know what I mean? I, I like, I'm liking Yellow Beezy. Uh, I'm liking a lot of the Dallas artists, you know what I'm saying? Mo3, uh, they, they doing their thing down here in Dallas, man, so. That's what's up, man. 
And for those who want to follow you, man, like uh, where can they? In fact, do you have a? For, are you taking new clients? Number one. That again? Are you taking new clients? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Okay, yeah. so how can they get? How can new people who watch this interview who are like, damn, I want to get it swole or I want to get in the program? How can they get in touch with you? Uh, they can go to the website www.themusclesquad.com and. Pretty much everything on earth. If you want a pearl, you know what I'm saying. You want to book a uh, book your session. You know I do online training, uh, the meal plans as well. You know, so pretty much everything. Man, the meal meal plans. Um, how important are how how important is eating to the process of uh you know working out in fitness? Uh, it's number one. It's number one. Uh, man, I love the gym. That's that's like that's like my passion. Uh, but if if somebody was to ask me, say, hey, well, would you if you had to go to the gym, I eat. Which one would it be? And It'll be eating because nutrition is everything. And people don't get that. You know what I mean? You have to you have to have the right nutrition for your body to do what you need it to do. You know what I mean? I can't get that across to a lot of people so much. Like it's just it's very important, man. So for somebody who just want to lose weight, just eating right and working out definitely can get them to where they need to get to. Oh yeah. Okay. That's definitely. That's what's up, man. Um well, my boy, Reggie from the Muscle Squad, man, dropping that knowledge, man. If you want more, check him out again on where? Where can they check you out? Uh, www.themusclesquad.com. Uh, you know, Instagram, The Muscle Squad. Everything is The Muscle Squad, man, because it's a lifestyle. You know what I mean? Uh, also, check out the YouTube channel. Uh, I do a lot of different things as far as you might catch me in the kitchen sometime doing healthy meals. Uh, I do a lot of things as far as trying to acknowledge people about fitness, you know what I mean? Not only just lifting weights, but dealing with the youth, the kids. Uh, so, yeah, it's a lot of different things, man. You might want to be interested in checking out on the YouTube channel, The Muscle Squad, you know. So, subscribe, check it out. Hey, we're going to do that. We're going to blast that, man, because we need to get our people healthy, man. What's that? Health is wealth. Health is wealth. That's a fact. Yes, sir. Already, man. Reggie, Muscle Squad, you are a real-life street star. Shout out real ass street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.